Hello again. Welcome back to the live channel. In this video, I drive, I crash, I kidnap people involved in car accidents, and most importantly, put back enough beer to kill a large rhinoceros. These streams are still ongoing, so come stop by and say hello. Donations don't count towards distance anymore. Instead, they fuck with my steering, make me accelerate a brake, and make me horrendously drunk. I'm streaming at these times for the next month, or two, or three, or four, until this number reaches zero. Anyway, enjoy. How are we all doing, everybody? I'm running away from a wasp right now. But today, um, I've made the decision that if I'm gonna get this distance done anytime soon, I should probably go fast. And for going fast, I have one option, and it's a good option, and it's the highway. So I'm gonna drive on the highway really, really fast. So first we have to repair the car, of course, because the car is fucked. Then we're gonna head back into town, refuel, since the fuel tank is not in the vehicle. Then I'm gonna go back home and grab the racing carburetor so that I can drive even faster. Turn yeah, that's uh, that's what's gonna happen. Yes, finally. Okay, let's Break. fix this bitch. Okay, that's three of three. We've got the battery in the car. Does it start? Oh, it's very low on fuel. Do I have the Gerald can? There it is. Alrighty. Okay, that should be enough fuel to get into town. Let's hope and pray that the car starts. Please! I beg you! Yes! Now that the car was in working order, and I had satiated my thirst, I sped straight into town to get more fuel. Okay, we're gonna fuel up. Maybe find the sledgehammer if it's here. Wait, the police are here. What do they want me for now? I've done- I've done another bad thing, guys. Well, I guess I'm not filling up on fuel then. Because town had nothing for us to do, other than get arrested, I decided to hit the road again, picking up the exhaust pipe and muffler along the way to rid myself of Setsuma's- That is so much quieter. Oh my god. That's kind of wonderful. I am sick and tired of this helmet. I am sick of it! I gotta get the helmet, the windshield replaced. Upon arriving at Fleetari's to get my windshield repaired, he was closed. Uh, he's closed. I guess I'll just do some more laps. Wait until Flitaris opens again, I suppose. Let's do it. So I hit the road once again. But I actually forgot to ever return to Flitaris. You see, when driving for so long, my brain tends to reasonably fog over, as I have to focus not only on the road, but also the donations, which often cause comeuppance. Turning left. Oh my god, two hundred dollars of turning left! Oh my lord! Ah, oh, the ceiling, the steering wheel's coming off the fucking. Get back on! This leads me to forget what I'm doing quite often. Remember the carburetor I mentioned earlier? Well, I never got around to installing it, simply due to the fact that I forgot. All right, we're gonna go into town. I'm gonna get some food, and then I'm gonna sleep, and hopefully the police don't get me. Because <laughs> they're probably still waiting. Yes, they are. Turning just left. Just chilling. Like I just. Oh, fuck. Yep. Jail. Nothing much happens in jail because, well, it's jail. So after serving my sentence, I was sent back into the world to cause yet more chaos. Well, I don't have that much fuel left. I kinda don't really want to just be driving yeah. around. Can't buy fuel. Oh no, I can buy fuel. I remember, I remember. But what you do, right, is you, you go in and then you sneak in the back and you turn these on. Drink. Hey! Let's fill up the Gerald can. Smoke cigarette to stay yeah. awake. You're so smart. I've I should smoke cigarettes. Nothing bad's ever happened to someone smoking cigarettes and filling up things with a gas. Right. You know, at the same time. At this point, I'd stuck my head down and focused on the road, successfully driving for the next two and a half hours without a hitch. That was until something very extraterrestrial happened. Mark teasing me for a $5 oh shit! Me to you to the UFO! Right. UFO! Stop the car! Where'd it go? Upon seeing this UFO, I thought it'd be wise to continually stick my head out of the car window, increasing my chances of seeing it again whilst still covering the distance. Although this plan was working, one fatal mistake occurred. Turning right. What the fuck? He was on the wrong side of the road. No, don't do- Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. I was not paying attention. Bro. 
As a true portrayal of my priorities, I immediately tended to my car before eventually going over to check on the other drivers. Oh, oh, I'm being given a moral dilemma. Do I just leave? So after being given a new quest from the hooligan's girlfriend, I headed back to my car to drive over and pick up. <laughs> well, shit. What's even worse is that when I respawned, the cops were waiting for me outside the store since I, well, you know. What the fuck? Demo. Goodbye. Timo, you don't understand. I killed a man. Damn. He's going off into the darkness. Well. Yeah. Once my five day sentence for vehicular manslaughter was served, I was led onto the streets once again, and I had a brilliant idea. The bus. Um, actually the bus is probably the best way to get to my car. Yeah, let's do it. Let's take the bus. I'm sitting in the front. No one else on the bus today. Hello! <laughs> He's on this mandatory union break. <laughs> we lock eyes, staring deeply into each other's souls. Oh. Oh, to see you. <gasps> oh! <laughs> A careless whisper. <laughs> Timed so perfectly. It would seem that, despite our intimate relationship, the bus driver refused to give us a ride. So I reloaded the game, and... I could get that seat. No bus. He was gone. It's 8pm, apparently. And it comes at 9. Seeing as the bus had disappeared, I decided to try call my cousin using this mod, but in the meantime, whilst waiting for him, the bus, I hear the bus, reappeared. So I gave it another try. <laughs> now please gonna move on! It leaves at 9 SMH. Was it actually? After coming to the painful realization that the bus would continue its route in three hours, I started to lose hope. Thinking that I'd have to walk all the way back, which would take ages. But, luckily, like an angel from the heavens. Wait, there's Penner. I'm taking Penner. Penner. Cousin Penner. Let's go bowling. Once Penner came to my rescue, a devilish thought entered my mind. If you give Penner the finger, he reasonably gets kind of angry a little bit and starts to drive incredibly recklessly, but also faster. Now, by itself, this is a bit of an issue, because you'll give him the finger, and then he'll drive straight into a tree, but you can calm him down by waving your hand, like this. I think you can see where this is going. Speed up! Speed up! Speed up! Speed up! Speed up! Actually, no, 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 chill, 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 Now speed up! Chill, bro, chill, 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 chill. I'm giving him a lot of mixed messages right now. He doesn't know how to interpret this. Eventually, we got off Mr. Penner's wild ride, finding ourselves at Fleetari's, where we got ourselves, our bike, and made haste to Satsuma. Okay, let's go back to the scene of the crime, uh, like a good week later. Oh. <laughs> She's been lying there for like a whole week. <laughs> Man. <laughs> That's right. This poor lady had been lying there for a whole week. Now, if you remember earlier when we crashed, what the fuck? she was still alive and in the car. When this happens, she won't despawn until you move her. That means she got into a fatal car accident. Huh? And was then left on the side of the road for a whole week. I feel like fitting everything in this in this car, including the girl, is going to be difficult. Okay. I'm just going to drag her over. Come on, girl. Road burn. <laughs> Her forehead's just fucking scraped along the pavement. Come on. You'll be right. <laughs> You'll be right. <laughs> this is so cursed. Come on. No. <laughs> oh, 
just get it. <laughs> just get in the car. Please. Please, just get in the vehicle. <laughs> Fuck, proceeds to kidnap a wolf. Hey, she wanted my help. Is she dead? She's not dead. <laughs> no, I can't look there. No, that's terrible. Hurry up. Turning right. <laughs> <laughs> like he's stuck in the door. <laughs> no, I can't look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Get your leg back in the fucking door. <laughs> okay, I'm just driving my car. Nothing to see here. I am staring straight ahead. <laughs> I should probably wear a helmet. Imagine <laughs> if, if she were to wake up right now and just see this dude driving her around wearing a fucking helmet. <laughs> It's just like stuffed into the fucking foot compartment. <laughs> Turning right. Just get in the, get in the vehicle. Get in the vehicle. <laughs> what is she fucking doing? <laughs> she wants, she wants to use the fucking fire extinguisher. Oh my god, a moose! Oh my god! What the fuck? I have never seen a moose on the dirt track before in this game. It just fucking sprinted. <laughs> someone, in, someone in the chat. Accelerating. W Riz. <laughs> w Riz. <laughs> oh my god. Martin Rizzo pants. <laughs> yeah. That Bill Cosby Riz. <laughs> <laughs> someone in chat. Gatsuma. After successfully saving our fine mistress from the road, we returned home. What do I do with her now? Do I just like pull her out of the car? Or do I just leave her in here? <laughs> okay. I think I'm just gonna leave her there for the time being. Actually. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh my god, that's horrendous. Someone said dream up the Twitch god. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alright. <laughs> You've been saved. <laughs> you have wonderful night. I'm gonna watch TV now. A nice relaxing day. Ah, <sighs> oh, I should probably... Probably just not leave her out in the cold. Probably. <laughs> there you go. You'll be okay. Finally, she was safe and put to rest on the bed, which meant that I could finally sleep. Upon waking up, I found her still on my couch. <laughs> She's still there! Okay, well, this is officially not my problem anymore. Okay, dear. <laughs> Why is there a giant piss stain in the middle of the floor? Was this you? Did you do this? Well, anyway, I'm gonna keep driving. Before I could drive, Chad was very adamant that I put her on the bed. You have to put her on the parents' bed? Oh, wait, really? Oh my god, put her in bed. I didn't know that. I thought I could just leave her on the couch. There couldn't possibly be a, a less, a more humane way to move NPCs in this game, could there? Drinking. After putting her to rest, I decided to get back to driving. Where's my helmet? There it is. What the fuck? What the fuck? Turning right. <laughs> what the fuck? Right. <laughs> Oops. Don't worry about that. Back in the house. Is she still in bed? Oh no, she's gone. She was gone. Well, nothing more to do, I guess. So I continued driving. Chat, however, told me that she had left a note. Note? Note? Go back, there's a note? But despite scrounging through the entire building, there was no note to speak of. <laughs> Game broke, she was raptured. Well, <laughs> not my problem anymore. <laughs> no note. Okay, well, she was raptured, clearly. Yep, that's right. Chad and I decided that what had actually happened to me was not a glitch, but it was in fact... The Rapture! Removing our acquaintance from this mortal realm, ascending into the heavens. 
that was done. Uh, not much else happened. I went to go fix my tires, and then ended the stream, and ended the video.